One of the challenges that a lot of women face when it comes to the bedroom is riding their partner. Either we get stuck in our head that we have to create some sort of performance, or most likely you're somewhere stuck in your head. Either way, both of those places don't involve you focusing at all on your pleasure and those internal sensations. The majority of women and those of us with vulvas are actually not able to have an orgasm from just penetration alone. So it's time to try something a little bit different and new rather than that come and go friction. So my hopes in today's video is to give you guys an exercise that will help you develop and get that knowledge about your own pleasure, as well as being better at guiding your partner. I think one of the hardest things that we struggle with is gaining more independence when it comes to our pleasure. The more in touch that we become with ourselves in our own bodies and how we like to experience pleasure, the less that we're relying on our partner to provide or to give us pleasure. Once you know yourself, you free your partner of that pressure and the stress and the responsibility of being the only one who leads the experience. So with that all being said, if you are here to learn how to ride your partner for your own pleasure, then you have come to the right place. Now let's get started on how you can take your own pleasure back and get to know yourself a little bit better. Because sex is often performative, we rarely get the chance to focus on our own pleasure. This is why taking turns with each other and focusing on one partner at a time can be a really great way to surrender and deepen your experience and to relax. So let's kick it off with that communication piece. One of the most challenging aspects of sex is actually asking our partner for what we want. So when we do this practice, my hopes for you is that you will be able to communicate yes and no better to your partner, be more upfront with what you like and what you don't like, experience more pleasure and more satisfaction, and to help understand your partner just a little bit better. So for this exercise, you guys are both gonna be blindfolded or continuously having your eyes closed. This allows you to focus on your pleasure, what's going on in your body, and it also adds kind of a kinkier aspect because they don't know what you're gonna do and you don't know what they're gonna do. So get your partner to lay flat on their back and ask them not to move their hips at all during this unless they're asked. You're then gonna be sitting across from them. Put that blindfold on or shut down your eyes. Now you guys can both focus on yourselves. Start to massage their body with your hands, your mouth, until they are erect and turned on. The second step I like to call painting. This is where you use the penis, the dildo, or the strap to get yourself turned on. Hold it in your hands and trace your own anatomy, finding where those sensations feel really good and those pleasure spots that turn you on. When you're ready to get into penetration, we're only gonna start with just the tip. So this is step number three. You are using just the tip. Place it at the entrance of the vagina so that the head is the only thing that is slightly inside of you. Start with rotating your hips. Remember, your partner isn't moving at all until you've asked. So then we start rotating our hips in all different directions around the head, massaging the entrance. A key tip here is make sure you have lots of lube because the wetter is always the better. Now this is done really slowly. So keep in mind, instead of focusing on, oh my gosh, I want this and I wanna slam down on it, or what does my partner want? This practice is about you and how you can experience pleasure in your riding. So I want you to really tune into those internal sensations. The fourth step is the connection with breath. By breathing in deeply and getting your belly filled up, we are bringing more blood flow and more oxygen to our genitals. Oxygen is what fires those different pleasure nerves that are inside our vagina. The slower you go, the deeper you will breathe and the more you will feel. The fifth tip is called the hunt. The objective of this exercise is to be able to explore your own body and your your pleasure without any of that penetration anxiety, which is when we have fear of being penetrated too fast and too deep. This is why this technique is so useful when we're trying to go towards our pleasure. Use your legs, your glutes, move your hips in all different angles to help you explore those internal feelings. I want you to really think about those sensations that are being brought up. What angles hit it better? The depth of penetration that feels good for you. What spots are saying yes? The sixth step for you is going to be using your own voice. When you feel pleasure, instead of holding that sensation in, even if you don't feel like moaning, but you still feel pleasure, I encourage you to moan. When we use sounds of pleasure, we reinforce that we're having a good time, telling our body we are safe and that it's okay to relax and then surrender more deeply. 
you. That's why I always say moan, say yes, talk to them, take those deep breaths. We wanna move that energy throughout our body. Each breath we take and let go of triggers those pleasure nerves, allowing us to walk into step number seven, which is finding our pleasure spots. There's many different areas inside of the vagina that can be used for pleasure or orgasm. The entrance, the G spot, the U spot, which is exactly where you pee out of, your urethra, the A spot, deeper inside of the vagina, right near your cervix. Each body is different when it comes to sensitivity and also varies depending at what point and what time you are in your cycle. So be patient, give it some time and give yourself some time to understand and know your body. Trust me when I say it is worth it. Now there's a whole confidence aspect to this as well, but we're focusing more so on pleasure for this video because when you're doing this exercise, it's actually actually gonna help you build that confidence in your body. Because of the eyes being shut down or because of the blindfold, it allows you to step into your pleasure and your partner to step into theirs. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, Miranda, my partner is not gonna do this with me, then I'm telling you right now that your partner is selfish. This is a way for you to get to know and understand your body so that you two can connect on a deeper level and both be experiencing pleasure. For some of you guys that might know, I am a somatic sex therapist and this is one of my favorite techniques that I have used on myself to gain that sensation back into my body. When it comes to the bedroom, we are ever changing and we are flowing back and forth. So sometimes you may be able to receive pleasure, other times you might not be able to. And when you wanna reset and restart, use this technique to help bring back those sensations. All right, baby, so that was my little taste into sex therapy with Miranda. I hope this technique is able to help enhance your pleasure and your experience. Now, if you have any questions about this technique, please feel free to come to my Instagram and send me a DM. And also let me know if some of you would be interested on one-on-one -on -one sex coaching. All right, babies, I will see you on Thursday for another episode.